Hi guys and welcome back to our let's play of Divinity Original Sin. This is part 10 and yeah, let's see what we can do. First of all we can loot this. Some fish, nice. So now let's see who this guy is that she wants to kill. And he seems to have some loot lying around. It's always nice. This looks like the crate I'm after. But where are the contents? Hmm. Okay. That was the crate. Anything to click to pick up? Doesn't look like it. Maybe this guy stole the oranges. Just as you're about to address the lizard, the Red Prince bars you with an outstretched arm. This man is a dreamer. As you know, I need a word with him. You may wait here while I speak. Okay. Indeed. He bids the dreamer stand up and pay attention, which he does in a groveling and awkward manner. The dreamer then chews and swallows a handful of Drudene leaves before slipping into a trance-like state. Okay. He falls asleep. To your surprise, the Red Prince lies down and follows suit. After about half an hour, they wake up and begin to discuss what they saw in their dreams. The Red Prince pinches the bridge of his nose in apparent irritation before turning his back on the jabbering dreamer. Okay. You receive a withering glance in response. A deserved bit of sarcasm, I suppose. But though this sting-tailed fellow may be a less than stellar specimen in the firmament of dreamers, the dreams themselves prove to be quite elucidating. Okay. Turns out I'm being hunted by an enemy I didn't know actually existed. The myth-shrouded House of Shadows. The dreamers, though, they're on my side. And they visions of me on the throne. Mm-hmm. It is. I was born with the promise of an empire, and that promise will be kept. Okay. To keep it, I must find a second dreamer, a greater one, a more experienced traveler of the dream world. Bahara is her name, and she resides in the swamplands east of the fort. So, let us make our escape and venture there post haste. No, I could tell you all about swamp dreamers too, if I chewed that much Drudene. <laughs> Huh? What? But I was... It was... Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Why did you wake me? I was so close. So close. Smell oranges about him. And you smell of burnt hair and barren dreams. But I have the good breeding not to mention it. Oranges. Is that what he told you he's missing? Well, I suppose it's technically true. <laughs> Though I'd guess Mr. Griff is more upset about the Drudene than the Citrus. The Drudene Griff cleverly smuggles into the prison, of course. Stuffed inside the oranges. You don't think he'd really be so mad over a little missing fruit, do you? No, okay. it's not the oranges, but the dream he's after. Same as I, though. I have the right, the responsibility. <clears throat> Drudene, it makes you master of all you see when you sleep. The dreamer is not the play actor, but the playwright. It may okay. be hard for you to understand, but my kind, we dream for the greater good. What we see can predict the truth can even shape the truth. But we need Drudene 
to do it. Before I was caught, before I was brought here, I saw a vision. The Void Woken, slain, divinity restored. But just as I was about to see how it happened, the Magisters beat down my door. This is my last chance to find out the secret, to find out how to save us all. So you see, I cannot give back the Drudene, not only for myself, but for all of us. My dreams are my gift. They may be our salvation too. Okay, so I have to try to persuade him. Intelligence. Say you are more interested in the real world dreams. You need the Drudenai to save a life and you'll take it by any means necessary. Say his intentions may be good, but stealing has consequences in a place like this. Sorry, um, little distraction. He needs to hand over what he's taken. Finesse. Say Griffin is out for blood, but you'll protect the lizard's identity if he hands it to the Nai over to you. Maybe persuasion? Intelligence is not so good at him, he has strength and... Yeah, maybe... Memory? Finesse? Memory. Failure. You know what has consequences, my friend. Being digested by a void woken. That has consequences. I'll thank you to leave me to my business. Okay. Do I have to kill him now or what? No, no. Leave me be. Um. Hmm. Okay. So I go back to the Griff guy and tell him what happened. Boring. Um. Where does he have the druid and I? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I go back to the Griff guy and tell him what happened. Or I talk to the chick, let her kill him, and then get the oranges that way. Hmm. Options, 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 options. That's what makes this game so great. All the options. So Griff, let's see, what do you have to say to this? Boss Griff. Griff glances from his blade to you and back again. You already know the terms. Nothing else to say. Okay. Uh, maybe I can talk to this guy again. An elf, caked in mud. You. You. Believe what he says, but I am a thief. Perceptive. Like most men behind bars, I'm innocent. Like most, huh, I am fine. The question is, are you? And how long does that last? And I know a way out. I show you. Finally, Griff releases okay. me. After I am free, you are free. Thank you. And. Hmm. Um, what does my journal say about this? We found Griff's crate empty. The contents may yet be nearby. Huh. So, what's my approach to this? Do I kill the guy? Do I try stealing it from him? Frying pan, fishbone. I'll try this basket. A wooden block, a child's wooden block, scuffed and worn from happy hours of play, and some cash. No, I don't want to steal that. I want the true I. Um, can I pickpocket? How can I pickpocket? Pickpocket. No, I can't. Can I pickpocket with someone else? Oh. No. No. Um, where could it be? Where could it be? Maybe over here somewhere? Hidden? Doesn't look like it. 
Hmm. Maybe I'll let her do her thing. <coughs> what took you so long? I'm ready to take up arms if you are. What the hell? Where did he hide it? Oh, what's that? Wait. Why doesn't this light up? Okay. No, nothing here. Huh. Okay. So let's see what's up to this side. And then we will have to decide how we do it to get this stuff. Maybe we have to kill him. Wouldn't be the worst thing. I think we will be doing some worse stuff. What is this? A cave? And here's the one doctor chick. No? Doctor. Doctor Leslie. By the queen's beard. It looks like you lost a fight with a claw hammer. That's what you <laughs> need of something to heal yourself up, eh? Right, she's very perceptive. And ask to see her stock. Tell her if she thinks you look bad, she should see the other guy. Say that this is just what your face looks like. <laughs> Instead of a potion, she hands you an empty bottle and a fat brown mushroom. Shoot her quizzical look. Not scared look. for little elbow grease, are you? A fellow ought to know how to put himself right. Go ahead and bind the mushroom with the vial. Once you've mastered the technique, you'll never need help from a crusty old quack like me again. Okay. Business savvy. Don't be profane. This is people's health we are talking about. And I get by just fine in the meantime, thank you kindly. Okay. Dane's as stubborn as an old steer. Says he don't believe in alchemy and won't accept a potion from me or anyone else. But Jack and Nip would rather die than drink something that ate at least 30 proof. <laughs> Still, my job ain't to judge but to heal. Or if that fails, to comfort. Seems that's all I can do for old Dean anymore. Okay. Minor healing potion recipe. So let's see. Combine. What did she give me? A mushroom? Where is it? Invisibility potion? Invisibility potion? Nice. Um, ah, no. <coughs> it's probably just a recipe, no? License contracts, certain letter. Where's miscellaneous? Consumables. Get high yourself to the grave. All. Um. Empty bottle. Mushroom. There's the mushroom. Combine with. Ah, nice. Um, where are my empty bottles? Empty potion bottle. Combine. To fight the nice. Uh, why can't I combine this? Ah, okay, one at a time. Um. Ah, okay. Okay, some potions. Nice. To fight the Reaper. So let's talk to the dying guy here. Out my, out my face, or I'll, I'll punch your lights out. Try to shoot the wretched fellow and ask what happened to him. Offer to stomp out whatever life remains in him. Leave the dying man be. Bleeding fools think, think they run the place, but, but I showed them. He shows those fools that they do in fact run the place. Ask if he has any pointers for you. Say so you don't blame him for losing his temper in this wretched place. Sure. First, always win. Second, never lose. Who are you? Some kind of, <laughs> kind of idiot. Lol. 
fight the Reaper. Get your ugly mug out of here. Give him some potion. Huh. Damn it, if you miss mess up one time you can't like do it again. That's why we will have to kill that other guy. To steal the stuff from him. Huh? Ah, saving. Okay. Nothing in here. Anything to pick up? Yeah. Ooh, mutilated corpses. corpses. Uh, what the hell? Migo. Level 4, weakened. Um, quick save. Hello? The creature heaves through lips gummed with human gore. It turns to you with great effort, pain apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. What the hell? You, 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 you. Quite lost. Quite lost. Quite lost. Careful. Or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> what now, the freaking hell? A little query. Where grows the yarrow? Mm. Mm. Quickly now, for I haven't much time. Yarrow. Say you're sorry, but you can't help him. Slowly back away from the creature, avoiding his bloodshot eyes. Lay a hand to your weapon. This fiend is dangerous. Take the yarrow plant from your pot and offer it to him. The creature gingerly takes the plant into his <coughs> bloodied hands. He runs his fingertips over the white flowers. His panting breath slows. Okay. Darling, dear. <coughs> dear, darling child. Hello, Yarrow Girl. Can it really be you? Ask him why, it, why he was looking for that flower. Tell him you're glad he found what he was looking for. Back away, hoping not to further provoke him. The creature clenches the plant tightly. His breath quickens. He seems liable to lunge at you at the drop of a pin. <coughs> Sorry, guys. You wouldn't understand. A father's pride. A father's love. What the hell? The creature begins to weep. Fast, silent tears spill from his eyes as he clutches the little cluster of flowers to his heart. For you, my ring, part of me. Name of Migo. Thank you. Okay. And he keeps eating the people? Arrow girl, you've grown, you have. Well. Rather loot them than to eat them. Intestines. Well, they have some... Set disease for three turns. Okay. This again. Pretty, Bucket, pretty, helmet, pretty. arm, effects unknown. So, anything else over here? We can go up here? No? No. Nothing here, nothing here. Game is not... Um, so infantile as I thought. Like what, uh, what it's not infantile, um, it's like most games are pretty child friendly. But this one not. This is pretty adult. Ooh, nice. Where does this go? Ah, this goes back. Okay. Okay, so now we have this cave over here, and then we go. We'll have to go and kill that other guy. Somehow we will have den outside. Okay. Old plate, empty mark. Who are you? No one tells me there are so many children in this Fort Joy. Your kind I handle, but small ones. <laughs> Kids aren't Stay so in this bad. Cave a while longer. 
provoke Modi, the wild one who runs like his clothes catch fire. I see how you feel then. <laughs> Who are you? I'm drawing many winning cards of late, ah. I won't be crying over it. Sailed away from my last island prison, scot free. No reason I can't do it again. I'm no people person, but I've had a run in or two with magisters before, and let me tell you, most of them couldn't pour water out of a boot. One way or another, we'll slip past them. Just keep your head to the ground. You'll get more than an earful of dirt, I promise. Okay. The young Who are girl's you? eyes are covered, but she turns towards you when you approach. She smiles as though she recognizes you, though she couldn't have seen your face. Ah, hello. Quite the blood-soaked journey has led you here. You are not who you once were, and I sense you are not yet who you will be. Okay. I see it before my eyes. <laughs> it is not so bad. I know which days have bread and which days have none. I know more bread comes someday. It helps. <laughs> Okay. Wary all of a sudden, she takes a step back from you. I cannot offer you much more than my sympathies. Our fates are intertwined, yours and mine. This clouds my vision. Amiru and have struck a deal to have him freed. Say you're looking for a way out of Fort Joy. Say you'd like to ask a few questions. Take your leave. Ah, you help him. Your open heart surprises even me. Are you happy to help? Tell her you're looking for a way out. Your heart has nothing to do with it. Leave her to her illusions. You bless me. You bless us all. Okay. Who else? This one. Go find a little one to Ah, no. Um, this is where I came in? I guess? Yeah. Who are you? You are in the wrong place, Pinky. <laughs> Military are you? Be at ease here, and well met. Let me know if you need any armaments. I offer them to a fellow serviceman at a few coins discount. Nice. Um... The soldier stands to attention. Ooh. This is nice, and I could even buy it. A mallet, a wooden axe, wood axe, some daggers, crack two hander, brittle sword, pickaxe, improvised staffs, battering ram, bouncing shield, crippling bow, blow. Cripple the target with a sweeping blow and all characters around it. Deals 9 to 11 physical damage. Set crippled for 1 turns, 1 memory slot. Damage is based on your basic attack and receives a bonus from strength. Battle Storm. Plain belt. Huh. The sword seems really nice. Um, does he want to buy some stuff from me? Plus one to finesse. This one does a lot more damage. Does he want to buy this and this? Up stone on the stick, a mallet. Improvised wand, a shiv. Um, what else could he buy? Hmm. A 
I don't have any more weapon, weapon stuff. That would be... no. Yeah, 242. Okay, I will buy this sword. Okay, accept. Nice, ooh. This was nice. This was worth it. <coughs> nice. Now oh, he actually has a sword. Ooh, it's like flashing magic. What does it do? Two uh, to three air. Uh, okay, nice. Um, who's the mage? Fane? Red Prince? Beast. Beast is the mage, I think. Fane is also a wizard, eh? Yeah. Physical armor, magic armor. What does he wear? This one already has wizard pants. This one gets the mage's pants. Okay. Gloves of teleportation, yeah, that's right. These ones seem pretty nice also. Let's put them on to you. Uh, do you have armor too? Yeah, nice. You get this one and the red prince gets the muddy mittens. I already has some. Okay, next up is he has ah, he has woven hand wraps because of his disguise. Okay, nice. Buy physical armor. This one has nothing. This one has something. Okay, you get this. Uh, not this. Damn it. This. Okay. Three physical armor. Threadbare pants. Okay. Red pair pants. Okay. Three physical armor. Better than nothing. Okay, that was an upgrade. Let's save. And make a cut right here. See you soon, guys. Bye.